Hi Cancer, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I am your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. Um, this is a video for you guys, for Cancer, for the time between May the 22nd to the 10th of June. Uh, and it's a general reading. Um, I will be doing a specific love reading for couples, people dating and super singles. And that'll be going out, they'll be going out at some point this week, okay? So, um, if you haven't already, just subscribe to Key Wisdom so you get, like, the updates. But it'll be at some point this week, um, so make sure you, you check back for that. Okay, so this is the um, energy for Cancer between the 22nd of May and the 10th of June. I know you've had a difficult time, Cancer, okay? The energy's been pretty heavy, um for a lot of us actually for a lot of us the star signs so let's have a look specifically the things that are going to be um, around you of this next couple of weeks okay okay the first card we have is the five of wands then we have the three of cups sorry and the five of excuse me seven of swords the Ten of Swords and two more, which I'm not going to look at just yet. Okay. Oh, sorry. Another one. Third one. Scrap. Mm, sorry. Another one. Okay. So let's have a look at what we've got uh, so far. Okay. So we have been. Sorry, I have to sit like this. My legs are killing. We have been, or you have been, through some challenging energies. You know, Five of Wands is all about other people and getting involved and creating conflict and getting in your ear and you know making you feel like you shouldn't do this or you should do that or why are you with her or why are you with him or blah 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 people getting involved man people just like sticking the nose in cancer people sticking in their nose to your business and making you feel like you've got to defend yourself uh -uh. why though why though that's the question i don't know why those people are getting involved in your life i don't know why you know there's been something that you've had to celebrate recently that you've celebrated some of you maybe have been engaged have got engaged or have got in a new relationship or you've started a new job or you know something to celebrate you know you've um, you've got back together with an ex-partner for example um, and you're happy about that and there's other people around you that ain't so happy about it there's other people around you that get why are you getting me in why are you getting me here or maybe you've had a promotion at work and other people are like oh as if she got a promotion why is she getting a promotion blah 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 whatever sometimes these people do you know what I, I always think that if everyone in the entire universe right now wrote a list of the qualities and attributes that they'd want to see in other people and they'd say i'd want other people to be kind to me i'd want other people to be generous to me i'd want other people to be honest to me i'd want other people to be funny i'd like them to be attractive and every single person this whole planet wrote a list of all the attributes that they wanted to see in other people yeah and we all got this list disseminated and on this list it said these are the things that we all want in life we want people to be kind and generous and good looking and compassionate and truthful and blah 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 and then we meet those people in our lives people would still hate them people would still hate them doesn't matter what you do with your life doesn't matter if you're the nicest kindest friendliest most hard-working funniest loveliest person people are still gonna find something to complain about when it comes to you because that's how some people are that's how some people are and it is petty. I mean, it's, it's not about you, it's about them. <laughs> you obviously have got something that you want to celebrate, whether it be a reunion with somebody else from your past, you're back together with an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend or your ex-wife or your ex-husband or whatever. And other people aren't happy about it. Now, it could have been that because in the past, this relationship you know wasn't um very honest you know so maybe you weren't very honest in the relationship in the past or your partner um was not they hurt you they lied to you they were manipulative of you 
you know that caused you to feel stabbed in the back betrayed it caused you to feel bad about yourself it caused you to feel like i'm never going to get anyone else i'm never going to be happy you know you felt defeated by sorry about this you know you felt defeated by um this relationship in the past and so this may be why other people are getting involved in this relationship you do feel it's something to celebrate though so maybe you've been in conflict with somebody in the past and you're getting back together with that person and these are feelings that are related to the relationship in the past what it was what it felt like so you know just excuse me a second so you know that could be what it is but there's clearly when we've got when we have a five it's always other people there, it's always a conflict and it's always a, and a challenge and it's always someone else other people are involved in this challenge okay these cards also came out so let's have a look at what we got okay um i mean i don't really know what order they came out in but we got um the hanged man we got the three of pentacles we got the queen of cups and we got the five of cups okay so it looks like looking at these that it is a relationship that some of us were in some of us could have been in a third party relationship actually we've got um two threes we've got the three of pentacles and we've got the three of cups so some of us even though we're reuniting in the past it could have been a third party relationship there could have been deception there could have been lies there could have been manipulation but it does suggest it could suggest though also that um there is now co cooperation so where there was conflict in the past there is now going to be cooperation in this new beginning in this new reunion that we are coming into that you are coming into there is now going to be cooperation between you and, and, the, and the partner um, or the other person if it is related to work it could be again that you've had a promotion for example and that um your boss or the person that give you this promotion or the business that you've just started is going to be supported by the people so even if currently there has been some tension and there might be have been some conflicts around that um you can expect to come into feeling you know good and and and, and supported um in your new role okay now we had to clarify i don't know if it is to clarify actually because i just they just wanted to come out so i just had to pull them out i don't know if it's to clarify this card but we've also got the hanged man here you know this card is about seeing things from a different perspective so it could be that you know you were in a relationship and that relationship was difficult and it was challenging and you thought that this other person was cheating on you or they weren't a very good person or they were lying but really you see now from the other side that maybe you weren't um maybe you were also part of the conflict maybe you can accept now that you know i felt they were lying and i didn't say anything and i should have said something or i felt they were being dishonest and i didn't say anything or i felt that they loved me but um i didn't i couldn't commit to them then or whatever it is you're seeing things from a different perspective now and that's always a positive sign it's a sign that we're we're healing it's a sign that we're coming into you know a, a, a clearer understanding of how the situation how the conflict how it was in the past how that has actually helped how that can serve us now how that can strengthen us now how that can give us confidence now as we move forward okay so it's about getting that balance with the with the with the hand man energy so even if it was you have to apply it for your life yourself because obviously this is for all cancers that cancerians out there um, so you apply it yourself how how it fits with you um but it seems you know you there seems to have been some i don't know why this word's coming in emptiness you know you, you you really there was a real sort of vacancy really a, a a space there a gap between maybe a disconnect between feelings and actions you know you felt a certain way but you didn't act on it or um you know you were still hurting from something else in the past and you know we've had you know the end of a relationship you know whether it was in the past the relationships ended or you're ending a relationship now or you're thinking about a relationship that that you had to end in the past that was difficult um you know we're looking back at the things that have made us sad and i'm not surprised because they've actually had a real 
toll on us you know maybe you were in love cancer you know maybe cancers have been in love you know the queen of cups energy definitely does suggest that you know maybe you were in love with somebody and in a relationship with somebody and that person maybe was deceptive you know maybe that person was deceptive maybe that person did take you for granted maybe that person did lie to you and manipulate you and maybe that's why we've got conflict now maybe you know maybe the other people are getting involved with your with this coming back together um, with somebody somebody has hurt you in the past you or you've hurt somebody in the past there has been hurt caused here and but i think it there's been a when i say vacancy or, or shallowness there's been a shallowness as well so maybe neither of you took the relationship as seriously as it deserved to be taken you know maybe you were both being immature and and not really being upfront about how you felt uh, maybe and maybe you know that and the person that you were in this relationship knows that but not not everyone else does for example you know i mean i'm trying to relate it to other things as well so if it was work there, there was only one work card here though which is the three of um pentacles which specifically relates which could specifically relate to work and career and finances um so it doesn't really feel like that but it definitely feels like relationships to me and it definitely feels like um there's been un uh, there's been hurt in the past and um there's been a real uh, there's been a separation as well there has been a separation cancer with you and somebody else um maybe that's ending coming up okay so let's um we'll clarify some of these cards now i'll clarify in twos because i don't know which in which order they came if you will so i'll just clarify um, thank you very much. Let's clarify the hanged man. That was this one. Uh, this is these guys. This is to clarify these guys, and this is to clarify these guys. Okay, so okay, um, and I'll do an outcome. I'm going to pull this one out because I want this one out. I don't know what it, I don't know what it card it is. I'm going to pull one more card for outcomes. What outcomes we can expect? Cancer. Okay, because it seems like oh, it seems like dramas. That's what it's dramas man that's what it seems like dramas <laughs> you've been going through dramas you and somebody else have been going through dramas and this one wants to come out as well so look at that we've got the king of king and the queen of wands there you know you two do match each other so it looks like if you've been being pe if they've been being petty you've been being petty if they've been lying to you you were lying to them in the past um, if they've been spying on you, you've been spying on them, Cancer. You know, the, 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 but it could be that these are cutting words. These are being immature. You know, really just not stepping up and saying how you really feel or what you really think. And you're being dishonest with each other and you're playing silly games with each other. And really, there is love here. Really, there is a want of actual security, a wanting of a relationship you know this card the four of wands is about commitments is about marriage is about secure relationships and ones that are passionate ones that are built and to last and solid you know you, there's a real connection a real um a real true true uh commitment wanting to be made on both sides you know wanting to grow this relationship and you know it's lovely that the king of wands popped out with the queen of wands even though we've had in the past this pettiness you know arguments on both sides on one side on your side on their side you know you get it you understand it because you two do match each other you know you two are um as feisty and as um passionate you know there's a lot of passion here between you two uh, but you two are this in you cut from the same cloth you and this other person so there you mirror you you mirror each other's you know actions and feelings and they are oh, well he lied to me so i'm like gonna lie to him or she lied to it she cheated on me so i'm gonna cheat on her and it's kind of like pettiness and silliness and you know you sort of like you pretend it's not that deep but really you both feel that it's deep you know really you both feel that it's deep and really you both want each other and you want this re to reunite and you want um to have security with each other but you fold your arms and you pretend well i'm not that bothered well if he didn't apologize to me i ain't apologizing to him blah 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 get over yourself seriously get just be in just be together i feel like 
maybe you're dating a can maybe you're dating a Sagittarius cancer because cancer is the same. It's like just if you're in love with someone, just be in love with them. Like don't pretend that you're not in love with them, even though it's part of the journey, blah blah blah. You know, you and this other person have the you know both feel the same. You mirror you mirror each other's energies and you spy on each other. You both want commitment, um, but you don't want to move toward it, even though it's what you both want, and you literally the same person. So um, there could be a, re a reconciliation with with you and another person this this um, this next coming weeks, twenty um, second of May to the tenth um, of June, could be some sort of reconciliation on that. These two cards always also wanted to pop out. So yeah, look at this. So there you go. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Full card. Yeah. So this um full card denotes new beginnings taking a leap of faith you know taking a leap of faith you know going for it not knowing what the outcome is going to be potentially not knowing what the outcome is going to be um but again the same ace of wands taking action new start fresh start being inspired to move forward being inspired to reconcile being inspired to to go toward your nine of cups your ten of cups what you want putting all this pettiness behind us and starting again afresh there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of real passion <laughs> okay you know we've got all these wands energy king and queen of wands ace of wands um four of wands we've got a lot of sexual chemistry a lot of a lot of passion between you and somebody else cancer it could be as i said if it's a new job it's hard because there's no job cards but i'm trying to relate it to other people um or for example let's say you know if it's a if it's a, a, a relationship if you've not been in a relationship for a long time you know you've been single for a long time you know you've been hurt by past what you feel like you want to do now is you want to move towards a relationship now you, you're feeling like you want to move towards a relationship and it seems like you're ready you've obviously spent some time being single and looking back and not really moving toward the things that you want um but you can have those and maybe you're starting to realize that you can have those and it's about taking that leap of faith and moving toward um your the security and the love uh, that you really really want and the relationship that you really really want okay so you know we might have difficult energy right now it's 22nd of may so right now today or we, we could just be coming out of that energy as you know now you know we, we, we've experienced this it's been you know may's been a bit of, it's been awful maybe for you you've not enjoyed it there's been too much conflict there's been uncertainty you know not knowing but you're moving into um you're moving toward being with somebody that you really do love and they really do well really do um you really are attracted to and they're really attracted to you and and you really want some sort of commitment from each other and some sort of um foundation from each other so i'm just going to pull um advice cards okay the the focus for the energy for you cancer for this next couple of weeks from the 22nd of may to the 10th of june okay and that focus eight of swords okay so this is some what some of you may be experiencing experiencing right now block you know you are being blocked by yourself by somebody else you're blocking out what you you feel you're not having any compassion for yourself and you're not having any compassion for the other person right now and this is something that we need to get over you know we've got the full card there we've got these new beginnings these new starts okay so it's about um it's about realizing that you are not trapped and that you can feel differently and that you do mirror each other you and this other person whoever this other person is you do mirror each other okay it's about moving out of this energy feeling like we are stuck and that you know he's always going to treat me like this or she's always going to treat me like this or it's always going to be petty or it's always going to be you know tit for tat it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be okay finally we have the wheel of fortune here this card is about change it's about changing this energy it's about we put so much energy into feeling stuck and to feeling and to having no compassion for ourselves that it's time to move forward and out of this energy we turn the wheel the wheel's turning now it's time for a new beginning a new start okay that's what you can expect for this 
this time okay from 22nd to the 10th of june that's what you can expect you can expect that you should want that and it might not you might not feel like that today right now in this moment but if you allow yourself to resonate with the fact and the idea that this is what the universe wants for you this is what the universe wants for you change a shift in energy yeah no more pettiness no more battling no more move forward stop the thing stop doing the things that you've been doing both of you stop doing the things that you've been doing and start afresh and see what happens see how it unfolds okay so i hope that was all right for you cancer um i am going to do a specific love reading actually as i said at the start of the video so check that out and also if you need to check out the videos for the other person that you've been dealing with and dating or whatever whatever it is and see what those that what those says as well okay i really hope you enjoyed that i hope you have a fabulous um, end of may beginning of june cancer and i'll see you again very soon have a fabulous fabulous week take care bye bye